perimeter and circumference. In this video, I want to go over some simple questions of finding perimeter and circumference. They are one and the same. The only difference is circumference is in the circle. So if you want to define a per, uh, what is perimeter, perimeter, first thing you should understand is a length. Is a length. So the unit of perimeter the unit of perimeter can be millimeters. Any unit of length would do, millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer, and so on, okay? Any length, any unit of length should be the unit of perimeter. So what is perimeter? The perimeter is the distance around the boundary. So let me write this. This is the distance, this is the definition. This is the distance around the boundary around the boundary is the definition of perimeter now what is circumference circumference all right circumference circumference is the perimeter of a circle is the perimeter of circle is called circumference okay or the distance around the circle it's called a perimeter. So let me draw a circle. So but this is a circle. So the distance around the circle. Okay, so the distance around the circle. So the distance around the circle. Okay, imagine a person going around the circle. And the distance the person runs is called circumference in a circle. Okay, so let me delete this. So let's work out the perimeter of these shapes let me delete okay so here it's a rectangle so this is 5.2 centimeters so this would also be 5.2 centimeters it's good to write uh, against each, each side so this would also be 5.5 centimeters so the perimeter i'll write p is 15.2 plus 15.2 so I'll times it that by 2 so you got 15.2 plus 15.2 so I have times plus 5.5 uh, times 2 you can add the whole thing so this is how much this is 30.4 uh, and this is 11 you can use a calculator so always you need to write the unit. So this is, if you don't write the unit, it is completely wrong. So this is 41.4 centimeters. Now just to cut, check my answer. So let me go to menu. So you can also go like this, 15.2 plus 15.2 plus 5.5 plus 5.5 which is 41.4 centimeters. The unit is centimeters. So for second question, the same thing, the perimeter, P for perimeter is 2.9 centimeters, let me write, plus 11.5 centimeters, plus 12.3 centimeters. You can directly do this on a calculator. So 2.9 plus 11.5 plus 12.3 sorry it was meters sorry <laughs> this is 26.7 meters 26.7 meters so across the sea it is meters okay moving on now this is called a trapezium the same logic the perimeter would be the it's in centimeters so I'm not writing centimeters every time. So this is 6.2 plus 4.4 plus 13.1 plus 5.4. So let's get the calculator out. It is 6.2. So it is 6.2 plus 4.4 plus 13.1 plus 5.4. So that is 29.1 centimeters. Unit is very important when you write uh, the perimeter or area. 
so this is centimeters okay now moving on to circle now circumference of a circle avoid c or circumference of a circle you need to remember this formula or this formula would be given which is pi times diameter pi times diameter now what's diameter hopefully you know a diameter is double the radius a di diameter is two times the radius is diameter so this distance this is the diameter here so the diameter is the distance from one point to the one point of the circle to the other point of the circle through the center so this is your center say this is let me call this O O is a center say let me call this A and B you need to know the terminology so you can say A B the distance from A to B is the diameter the distance from A to B is the diameter and the distance from O to B the distance from O to B or would be equal to the distance from O to A the distance from center to this point is equal to the distance from center to this point and both of them are called the radius so this is one formula so in some other books okay so let's remember only one formula pi times diameter is the uh, circumference of a circle so here first let me write the formula like this so we can say c c for circumference is pi times d d for diameter so what's d here so d is 20 20 centimeters diameter is so circumference would be pi times 20 the unit would be centimeter because it's perimeter it's the distance around the circle so you can write the answer as pi you can write this as 20 pi centimeters now pi is a constant on a calculator when you round this to two decimal places this is 3.14 when you round this to two decimal places so let me show pi on a calculator so if you go press shift this on a calculator and if you press equal or execute this is up to nine decimal places so if you go to two decimal places it is 3.14 now if you want to write the same answer in a in a decimal form you can write c is equal to 20 times pi so let's do it so you can go like this 20 times shift pi oops 20 times shift pi roughly if you okay let me give give you the answer first this is 62.83 centimeters in two decimal places 62.83 so you can say this is 62.83 centimeters so roughly if someone asks you suppose if you are on a ground and you know the diameter of a circle of a circular ground or you can round it in the whole number so it's about three so circumference you can say roughly say it's roughly three times the diameter <clears throat> so here you can say it should be roughly three times of 60 sorry 20 which is 60 so you can estimate first so this is rounding so you should have an estimate of your circumference so here roughly you can say it is three times the diameter so it is should be around 60 and that is what we have got 62.83 and you should write this i rounded this to two decimal places dp rounding is very important okay now the final question yeah th this is the radius so let me call this o and this is a so here your r or radius your r is 3.5 centimeters so the formula that we have is circumference is pi times pi times diameter so your diameter is double the radius centimeters so diameter is double of this which is seven centimeters 
So roughly you can say three times, this will be around 21 centimeters. So yeah, this is pi times seven. You can write this as pi. So you can write the answer like this. This is more exact. So this you can say seven pi centimeters, which is about 21, okay? So you can go like this, seven times shift pi equal 21.99, okay? So you can say this is 21.99 centimeters in two decimal places. Okay, so you can make up your own questions. Okay, so let me make up a question. Let me draw a figure. So this is Okay, so let me write some measurement here. So this is 4.8 centimeters. This is 3.5 uh, centimeters. This seems to be, say, 7.3 centimeters. And this is, say, 10.2 centimeters. So find the perimeter of this. So let me draw a triangle. Okay, so I'll draw a triangle. Okay, and write some measurements here. So let me write some measurements. So this seems to be, say, 3.7 centimeters. This seems to be 5.6 centimeters. And this is 11.8 centimeters. Okay, and finally, let me draw a circle. Okay, so this is a circle. Say so this is the center. This is the center, and I'm going to draw a radius. Radius here is, say, 4.3 centimeters. So find the circumference of these three shapes.